Jake here for American Muscle, and today I'm taking a look at the MP Concepts GT500 style rear spoiler with Wickerbill add on in gloss black, fitting 2015 and newer Mustang fastbacks. If you're looking to bring some track inspired GT500 style and additional functionality to your Mustang, then you're in luck. With an aggressive look and some aerodynamic enhancement, this is perfect for the owner of a Mustang that may do some occasional track days and still wants to look cool out on the roads. It's a great mod that has some form and function in one inexpensive package. Now it's obvious not just from the name where this spoiler gets its styling inspiration from, and that's the GT500. So if you're looking to bring a little bit of that Shelby flavor to your own S550, this is a great option for you. Now, even if you've already got a spoiler on your car, this one is gonna step things just a notch up with the extended edges here and some slightly more aggressive styling. But MP Concepts also took things one step further with this wicker bill add-on. This is gonna give you a slightly taller, more aggressive, and more effective spoiler. Now, wicker bills add some extra downforce at higher speeds because it's effectively going to extend this spoiler up a little bit. So if you're gonna be going to the track often, you may just be in need of a bit of additional stability. Now, that's not to say that this is gonna absolutely glue your Mustang to the road, but you are gonna get a little bit of extra functionality to go along with that style. Now construction here of both parts is ABS plastic. As you can see, it's finished in a really nice glossy black. So this is a strong lightweight material, plus it's gonna be able to withstand the elements. And that gloss black means that it's gonna look nice on pretty much any color of car and give you some contrast if you've got a brighter colored car or bring more of that stealthy blacked out look if you're going in that direction. Pricing here is gonna come in at about $250, putting it on the less expensive side when it comes to spoilers. And you can bet that this is gonna be cheaper than buying a GT500 spoiler directly from Ford as well. So if you want that style without spending a ton of money, this is gonna be a great option. Installation is gonna get a one out of three on our difficulty meter, and this should only take you about an hour or so to complete. Now, some drilling is gonna be required. You've gotta drill a couple of holes here to get this Wickerville attachment onto the back. And you may also need to do a little bit of drilling on the trunk lid of your car, especially if your Mustang didn't have a spoiler to begin with. But all the templates, hardware, and instructions are included, so you'll be able to measure everything out. And it's a pretty straightforward process to complete. And to show you how to get it done, let's throw it over to one of our AM customers. This is a 3 8 ratchet, 10 millimeter deep socket, and a 3 inch extension. These are gonna be used to remove the bolts. These tools are trim tools. This one is gonna be used to remove the clips, and this one is gonna be used to remove the 3M from the spoiler. You are gonna put a towel over this tool so that way when you're removing the spoiler, you're not scratching the paint on the car. This is a magnetic tool. You're gonna to use this whenever you are adding and removing bolts so that way you don't lose any bolts within the trunk. This is a Phillips screwdriver. You're gonna use this to attach the gurney flap to the spoiler. This is gonna be used to drill holes into the spoiler so that way you are able to attach the gurney flap to the spoiler. This is the process of removing your stock spoiler. You're gonna start by removing these interior trim pieces and these two bumpers. Then you're gonna remove this trunk latch. You can leave it hanging, you'll be able to slide it out when you take the other interior piece off. You can remove your clips with your panel popper tool, all nine of them. And watch the wiring wires too. Go ahead, just place it inside your trunk. And you'll have these two covers to take off on each side. Then you'll be using a 10 millimeter socket with your three inch, three inch extension and your ratchet to take off the outside bolt. Then you have two 
now it's inside. On the inside part right here. On the inside. Go ahead and put those. Last one out, you're gonna to wanna to pull the trunk down so it's good, if not pulled out. Okay, it's gonna clip on this side. Or a clip on that side and clip on this side. And it should pull up after you get the 3M off. As this one was already removed. We're going to start by adding the 3M to the aftermarket spoiler. So you got a red side and the brown side. You're going to take off the brown side. Line them up with the holes. Press down on it. Get all the holes out, or the bubbles out. Make sure it's solid. You're going to do that for each one. You got three sides. Go ahead and wipe down with alcohol. Make sure there's no debris, dirt, and dirt on it. the cover off of the three room. Go ahead. Use the socket to get the outside ones or it the magnet if you'd like. Go ahead, snug them down. It's not too tight. That's how like the factory ones work. Put the wicker bell on. You'll need your four adhesive connector, connectors and then your drill with the 764 drill bit and a screwdriver to connect the drill bit or dr uh, screws to the spoiler. You're going to put the 3M on each connector or peep each spot. Brown side down. You 
gonna wanna clean the back of the spoiler. And then you're gonna wanna get it centered. See if how it fits best. Doesn't take much to go through. You're gonna grab your four Phillips screws. To attach this uh, wicker bill to the spoiler. Go ahead, do the other side now. Open the truck again. You're gonna assemble everything back together. I'm gonna put these bumpers back on. Or the cap. You're gonna throw the interior back together. Slide this on. Put your trunk release back in. And uh, latch the cover. And you are all set. That is gonna wrap it up here for our review and install of the MP Concepts GT500 style rear spoiler with wicker bill add-on in gloss black, fitting 2015 and newer Mustang Fastbacks. Thank you so much for watching, and remember for all things Mustang, be sure to keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.